In this video, we are going to talk about the correct way to export a video in DaVinci Resolve 17. I'm also going to show you how to watermark your clips in the export setting, which can be very useful when sending draft to client or previous to any of your team or anyone included in your production. Also tell you everything you need to know about the export setting so you can understand it better and take advantage of all the options that DaVinci Resolve has to offer. And the last thing that I'm going to show you is how you can build your own export preset that will save you way more time when you're exporting your next project. And now without wasting time, let's jump into the Vinci Resolve. As you can see, I do have a music video that I've just finished creating for a client and everything here is ready to export. All you need is to press this emoji rocket looking icon and the Vinci Resolve is gonna take you to an export setting. And as you can see, everything is ready for you here all in one page. If you have marked your input and output on your timeline, you can quickly go here and change to in and out range. So everything that is within the selection can be exported. Or if you didn't, you can just change it as entire timeline, but make sure there's no another clip further down on your timeline. At this point, I'm assuming you spoke to anyone in charge or they've told you what the delivery format is going to be so you can be able to export the project and delivery correctly. I'll just give you an example of this project that I'm working on. I've spoken to the director and basically all he told me, he wanted the best export setting for YouTube or the best quality possible for YouTube. And that is what we are going to export for. So where do we go from here? First of all, if you have a different view from mine or simply you want to be able to view all your export setting, go to this small looking down arrow and press it and voila, you can now see the whole export setting and your whole timeline is showing here nicely without obstructing your view. The next thing I want you to understand is all these presets and how they can be used just in case you are working on a project that's going to be sent to Netflix, Disney, or you might send to cinema or a film festival or anything really. And if you find all these things very complicated, do not worry because I'm going to take you through everything and show you how you can use them. And by the time you finish watching this video, I want you to have more confidence on exporting clips in Resolve. As we now checking all the custom presets in the delivery page, the first one you see here on my timeline that is my own custom preset that I do make to save time when delivering in DaVinci Resolve. And at the end of this video, I'm going to show you how to do that so you can save time as well. The one that you see next to it, the custom, that is DaVinci Resolve on custom preset. As the name suggests, this is where you'll be making all the changes based on all your export requirements, which we are going to talk to just in a second. But let's see all the other presets so we can understand them better. The second, third and fourth preset, they are a selection of popular platform such as YouTube, Vimeo, Twitter and Dropbox. With all these social media platform and their presets, you can pick the recommended codec and resolution for your project. And the best thing is that you can upload your video straight from Resolve to YouTube, Vimeo, Dropbox, or even Twitter. And the best thing is that they even give you a place to add your title and you can put your video description. But something that I would advise you is to always do it in the Resolve custom presets because there you can do so much that we are actually going to talk to again at the end of this video. The next preset allow you to create a master of your project in either ProRes, 
H.264 and H.265, which is really self-explanatory. And we can't really talk about this that much. And the next one, you do have the most used export option in streaming services and cinema, and that is IMF preset, which stands for Interoperable Master Format, which has been the standard for distribution and theatrical content since 2012. It is designed to create a single master file for distribution. The reason why high streaming service love IMF it's because the package contain all the essence, such as audio and video and all the metadata, including subtitle and caption associated with all the content. So let's say you was to watch a movie with subtitle in English, French or Chinese, it is all there all in one. Something that you should know is that the IMF file cannot be used directly to deliver to consumers. So now that we know what IMF is, let's see the option that we have and see how we can use them in general. The first one is generic, then you do have Disney and Netflix, which give you different options that can be used for delivering high quality content, such as 4K HDR and Dolby Vision. You can also do DCP, which stands for Digital Cinema Package. If you want me to make a full delivery or a full video about delivering to Netflix, please comment below and we can make that happen. The rest of these presets that we see here, they are made for collaboration. So let's say you are working with someone and they don't really know how to use Resolve or they are very comfortable in programs such as Premiere Pro, Final Cut or Avid, you can generate two type of files to send them so they can recreate the whole timeline in their favorite editing software. The first thing that Resolve will let you do is to generate a trimmed media of all the clips on your timeline. And if that's something that you prefer to do, you can just send that and the person will be happy to line everything and recreate the whole project. And the next one, which is one that I actually use the most, is the extensible markup language, which is referred to as XML, that anyone can use and reconstruct the whole project with their editing software. Now that we have gone through all the presets, I'm sure you have now a full understanding of all the presets and how you can use them. Now let's go back into the Vinci Resolve custom preset and see how we can export to manually and get the best out of all our files. First thing, add the name of your project. Obviously mine is called Fresh by Reason 8, so I'm just going to give it that name. And here, if you want to export each clip individually, Resolve will let you do that. But since we're going to export the whole timeline, that is what we are going to choose. And next, we're going to pick the best video format. So YouTube recommend QuickTime, and that is what we are going for. My first option is always ProRes, and when it comes to the type, I always pick ProRes LT or ProRes Lite. Of course, your resolution and frame rate stay the same as the one on your timeline. This will always give you the best quality possible, but keep in mind, you have a larger file size, also the render time will be a bit longer depending on your system. If you are worried about space or longer render time, I've got the best solution that would work best for you. We're still going to pick QuickTime as recommended by YouTube, but instead of picking ProRes as a codec, we are going to pick H.264. Then when it comes to quality, make sure you uncheck this automatic, which then take us to the most important part. To make sure you are getting the best quality from your export is to add your data rate accordingly, which is going to result in good quality video. Something you should know is that everything that you upload here on YouTube, it will be recompressed. So it's always a better idea to export a high quality render. And what I'm going to do here, I'm going to make this data rate three to four times higher as I'm working with a 4K timeline. But if you're working with 1080p or any other resolution of your choice, 
please make sure you do your research and see what would be the best data red point for your project because it's not a good idea to push it so high. Now that you have done that, double check your audio files and see if there's anything missing. After checking your audio, click here on file, rename your export and everything should stay as it is in advanced setting unless you've done something wrong. And the last thing to do is to press add to render queue and just like that, your files are ready to export. And here is something that I do love about the Venture Resolve. Let's say you're doing a multi-format project where you want to export for different social media apps. Let's say you want the same project to have a 1080p version for Facebook, Instagram, or anything, you can add a lower quality version of your project to the render queue. And you can also rename all of them for easy identification. Let's say you're about to export and you just remember, well, you forgot to do something. With DaVinci Resolve, there is no need to restart all over again. All you need is to click this pen or shall I call it pencil icon, which will take you back to your export setting. And then here you will change everything you need to change. And after when you've done, you're happy with the adjustment. All you need to do is to click here on update job and then your export will be ready. For you to be precise and know exactly what you are exporting, Click this three dots and then show render details, which will help you to see exactly what resolution, format, and frame rates that you're exporting under your render queue. And the last thing, let's say you have two or three projects that you are working with and you want to export them at the same time. All you need to do is to go here and then click through them. And once you click export, the Vinci is gonna start from one by one and get them ready for you. Give this video a like if you've just learned something and subscribe if you want to see more videos like this. Also, if you are very curious and want to know how many projects you have rendered, click all these three dots again and show all project. Here you have to see everything that you have rendered and I also recommend you delete everything so you can have a fresh start. As you can see, it is day two and we back and yes, it took over two days to make this video. But before we continue with the next step, which is how to add watermark to your clip in DaVinci Resolve, I would really appreciate if you give this video a like. So now let's go back into Resolve and continue this video. Let's say you are working with a client who hasn't paid you yet, or you simply want to add watermark to your clip for some reason, this is what you have to do. All you need to do is to head over to Workspace and then scroll down until you see Data Burn In. And now you have the option to play with all these and see what works for you. You can add a logo, watermark, or put custom text. And the best thing about this, you can either put it on the whole project or a single individual clip. So again, we are not going to talk about this too much because this is actually self-explanatory and I'm sure you'll figure out to what works for you best. And the last thing we're going to talk about in Resolve is how to save your export setting as a preset so you can always export faster without having to go back and forth like how we did a couple of minutes earlier. With this, all you need is to imagine the correct export setting for a project that you want to save as a preset, and then give it a name and see if everything is correct and then send it to render queue. Now, all you have to do is to click these three dots and then save as a new preset. You can do this a few times as I've done here for different deliveries. I'm sure now you do have a better understanding of the full delivery page in the Vinci Resolve. 17 and if you like this video please give it a like and subscribe so you can see more videos like this also if you're new here my name is Kashi Lembo and this channel is all about DaVinci Resolve and helping you to improve your visual storytelling and if that's something that you're into make sure you hit subscribe and I'll see you when I upload. If you don't have access to a fast computer and you want to be able to edit 4K, 6K and 8K file on your normal laptop or PC using DaVinci Resolve, click this video here and it's going to show you everything you need 